Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In my previous video on Power Query, we saw how we could use Power Query for data analysis. And I received a lot of comments and requests to make more videos so that people can enhance their knowledge. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about or, or demoing how we can use Power Query for a real world example where we're going to be taking a look at the IMDB movie data set which can be downloaded for, uh, from Kaggle and how we can use Power Query to prepare your data for data analysis which is the most important step of, for data analysis and how to also do data analysis on the prepared data. But before we delve right into it, not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis in Power Query, Power BI, Excel and Python. So let's get right into it. So here we can see I've opened the Excel. I'm using the Office 2021 version. I click on data. And in the Office 365 version, this option will be there in the get data section. So I'm going to click on new query here. And from file, I'm going to click on from CSV. I'll leave a link to in the description to the Kaggle dataset URL. You can download it and follow along and import the data. Okay, now the, the data set is loaded here. I'm going to click on the transform button. And now the Power Query editor will open up. So the Power Query editor has opened up. You can see the data looks quite messy. It shows movies, year, it's, year is all in, contains you know, different data and characters, genre. I cannot actually use this data. Let's take a look at stars. It has data and stars information. I cannot make use of the information for data analysis. So I need to prepare the data and systematically systematically structure the data so it can be used for data analysis. So first I'm going to remove the chain type here and we'll take it column by column as the best approach. So I say movies column here. This looks okay, but for safety's sake, I'm just going to trim out the extra spaces. So trim. Now here, this, if I click on this, the type of data it collects looks pretty garbled. It contains some garbage characters and it has different formats in brackets and different again, it has, you know, like Roman numbers here. So very hard to extract this data. You can do this very, very easily using conditional columns. I'm going to be using an easier method here, but there may be some loss in data. If you do want me to show this approach using conditional columns, do leave a comment. I'll make a video on that as well. So let's take a look at a simpler approach here so that we can understand how to do this. So for this example, I'm going to be uh, clicking on the, on the year column. I'm going to be clicking on add column, say column for examples from selection. So yeah, I'm going to give it a few examples. So yes, say 2021, then the next one is 2021 again. And then here I want 2010 space 2022. Because I want both the start year and the end year. Click on enter. And you can see it has done most of it accurately, but AI does tend to make mistakes sometimes. So I would recommend do check the data and filter out any missing values or any other data that may be incorrect. I'm going to drag this custom column and put it next to the year column so we can compare. Okay, they put it next to the year column. Let's take a look at the data. It seems to be okay for the most part. If not, you can further do some transformation of the data. So now I'm going to click on the year column and remove the column. Now on this custom column, I'm going to just make this as year. And now I want to split this because I want the start year and the end year. So basically the start year is the year where the movie was released, but the end year is spe specifically used for series. Television shows start, start in a specific year and end in a specific year. So let's click on this column. Let's go to transform. Let's click on split column and split by delimiter. Okay, it has already chosen space. It's intelligent enough. If not, you can select the option from the drop down. Click on okay and it has split it up nicely into start year. So I'll just rename this as end year, end year, and rename this as release year, release year. Let's take a look at the, now let's take a look at the data once again, just to make sure there's no garbage values. So it looks okay. okay. You can filter out the null values if you want. I'm going to leave it there. So click on cancel. Now let's go to the next column, genre. Seems okay, just need to format it. Click on format, click on trim. Rating seems okay, but it's in decimal. I'll convert this into a whole number. This will help me, uh, help me streamline my categorical analysis on this. Or even if I want to do some numerical analysis. So I'll select whole number. Okay. So 
for the one liner again i'm just going to format and trim it okay you can do further other you know formatting i'll i'll let you explore you can do upper case you know capitalize each word i'll i'll let you explore that so let's take a look at the stars column the star column looks pretty tricky it has direct information and stars information so now i'm going to split this so let's take it step by step i, I click on the column i click on split column and first by delimiter and i'm going to select here custom and i'm going to give stars so anything after stars i'll split it up stars s t r s okay and now all the stars have been put into the next column you can see this now i'm going to rename this into as the actors and i will uh, trim this so i'll click on format and click on trim trim now i need to work on the director column so i'll click on this and rename it to the directors and i want to extract the, the director information from this so i'm going to click on extract and uh, let's say text after delimiter i'm going to type director here director colon click on okay so it has given me all the director but still it has left the pipe here so i'm going to remove that i'm going to click on home click on replace values click on value to find and give the pipe information replace with a blank character click on okay and you can see my directors and actors have been split, have been split nicely i can do analysis on that and directly it has just format this to to trim it now you can do further analysis on the actors you can split this into different columns and then you can unpivot the data to find out which actor has 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 worked in which movie and i've done a detailed video on that in my previous video on how to unpivot your data for data analysis take a look at that video i'll leave a link in the description as well if you want to try that as well and lastly votes and runtime look okay both are numerical columns and let's see the gross how much the movie has made and if i click here the type of data it shows it's a textured data and i cannot use this data for data analysis for numerical computation i cannot find the average mean and the median of text data so i need to convert this into appropriate numerical values so how to do this i'm going to extract the values so let's click on extract and let us click text between delimiters this time so anything that is between dollar sign and a m m m, m alphabet that's a million i want to extract so i'll extract this it has extracted it i'll just change this now if i can see down it has extracted the values i can click on this and see it's showing me i'll just change this to whole numbers okay and i will just replace the uh, the null so let's go to home i'll replace the null with zero so that it will help me in numerical computation so null replace with zero okay and i will just change this to gross in millions and you can see now my data is ready for my analysis i prepared the data so neatly so nicely you can use this data for your analysis you can make this as a as a base query as i've shown you in the previous video and you can then reuse the query for different analysis you want to do in power query as well and then you can import the data into excel take a look at that video as well so now in this video let's try some analysis on this data as well i'm going to click on transform click on group by okay say i want to group by the uh, the release year to see the number of movies in the in the year to find out which year was the most bene uh, beneficial or the, or the most important year number of movies okay let's say count rows and i click on advance i'm going to add another aggregation and this time i'm going to say gross maximum gross what are the maximum grossing you know value in a specific year click on that click on max and on which column gross in millions click on okay and you can see my analysis is there for each release year what are the what are the number of movies and what are the maximum gross now i can do further analysis on this to find which year is of real importance in this data set so i can sort on multiple columns here in excel you can sort out you know one column only but power query enables you to maintain the sorting order so i'm going to click on max gross and say sort descending right so now now it has sorted you uh, know descending but i also want to sort further as which Uh, on the number of movies so i'll sort here i'll sort descending again so you can see here it is first sorted by maximum gross and maximum uh, and then the number of movies so you can see 2017 is the most important year because uh, the 
मूवी क्रॉस 504 मिलियन प्लस द नंबर ऑफ मूवीज रिलीज वाज 843 अकॉर्डिंगली 2016 वाज अ नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ईयर एंड सम अदर इयर्स वेयर द मूवीज हैव क्रॉस्ड मोर बट अ फ्यू मूवीज आर रिलीज इन द ईयर यू कैन सी 2000 2019 इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट ईयर बिकॉज़ द मैक्सिमम इन क्रॉसिंग मूवी वाज 391 मिलियन बट 1420 मूवीज आर रिलीज सो नाउ यू कैन डायरेक्टली टेक दिस डेटा यू कैन मेक मोर क्वेरीज एंड यू कैन मेक एंड यू कैन डू फर्दर एनालिसिस बट फॉर नाउ लेट्स क्लोज दिस डेटा इनटू इनटू एक्सेल and you can load this data into excel and click load here and here my data set has been loaded into excel i can now create reports on it to get numerical and uh, visual representation of my data if you did like this video please leave a comment on any other such videos you want me to make leave a like on the video and not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis using power query power bi excel and python thank you